The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors. The content heard on the Ask Dr. Tommy O Show is for informational or educational purposes only and does not substitute professional medical advice or consultation with healthcare professionals. Hi, this is Dr. Thomas O'Brien. For almost 25 years, I specialized in offering families an affordable concierge service to avoid paying costly medical insurance or unreachable deductibles without giving up pre- premium health care. As an osteopath, I offer osteopathic adjustments alongside medical examinations. Also, I offer discounts to military and first responders. I am now accepting no-fault patients, which include osteopathic adjustments, medical treatments, and prescription services, including medical marijuana. At my practice, my patients never pay co-pays and still receive the most personal and complete medical care. I have spent my career devoted to providing health care at affordable prices. Everybody should have a relationship with their physician. I work for you and your family. The honor and privilege is mine. If you have been in an automobile accident, please call my office at 631-980-8200 for an immediate appointment. To learn more about me and my practice, visit drtomio.com. Again, I am accepting no-fault patients. Call my office for an immediate appointment, 631-980-8200. Welcome to the X Dr. Tommy O Show. I am your host, Dr. Thomas O'Brien. The X Dr. Tommy O Show can be heard every Wednesday at 4 p.m. on 103.9 LI News Radio. I offer a very affordable concierge practice, which allows you access to the quality care you really deserve. With no rushed office visits, both you and I can take our time and discuss your health care needs. As your primary care physician, It is important for me to have a baseline knowledge of your health. I look at you when you're speaking, listen to what you're saying, and feel you both physically and emotionally. This way, when you come to my office not feeling well, knowing your history allows me to properly diagnose and treat your illness. To my military family, I got your six. To my Masonic brothers, the light is bright. If you wait, it may be too late. Before starting today's show, I'd like to honor a childhood friend who transitioned last week. Jeffrey Heith graduated from Freeport High School in 1979. He was a founding member of the rap group Son of Berserk and the band No Self Control. The group had several hits in the early 90s. Jeff, you will be missed. Keep on keeping on. Love your brother. It's a Freeport thing. Now on to today's show. To start the new decade brings with it new resolutions to improve one's life, including a healthier lifestyle. That's what we talk about, the Ask Dr. Tommy O show. That is my goal, my mission. We always say, let me help you lead a happier and healthier life. Uh, I'd like to discuss 20 practical health tips to help you start off and a healthier life in 2023. The first, let's eat a healthy diet. What do I say? Every time we talk about diet, it's behavioral modification and diet modification and exercise program. Uh, Eating a healthy diet, okay? We want to to eat proteins with high biological value, uh, you want a low, you know, low fat. So you know, talking tuna, uh, egg whites, um, chicken and turkey breasts. You you, uh, you can have red meat. It must be lean, lean and mean. You know, little you know, cut off the fat. You want to stay away from. Uh, we got that. Uh, you know, uh, the corned beef. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. That's it. Okay, because corned beef is it's it's marbled with fat. Tastes delicious, but it's marbled with fat. So you want to cut that. Cut back on that. Um, your uh, carbohydrates, we want complex carbohydrates, um, not simple sugars. We want complex sugars. There's a lot of benefits to that. I discussed that in previous shows over the past year. Uh, it's healthy for you, you know, more fruits and vegetables. Your fats, we discussed the fat content. You know, want to keep that fat content. Uh, you know, you have saturated, uh, polyunsaturated, and monounsaturated fats. You want a two to one to one ratio. Uh, 
uh, excuse me, one to two to two. I had that backwards. <laughs> so for every gram of saturated, you want two grams of uh, poly and two grams of mono. What's mono? Uh, olive oil. We know olive oil is delicious and it's healthy for you. Uh, we want to consume less salt and sugar, okay? Uh, we just discussed the sugar. You want complex carbohydrates rather than uh, the simple. Uh, I know it's difficult, you know, with processed foods and, you know, uh, candy bars and, you know, soda. You know, I'm guilty of that. I love my Coke Classic. <clears throat> but try to cut back on that. Uh, less salt. You know, salt is a magnet to water. So wherever salt goes, water follows. So if you have a tendency to salt, add a lot of salt in your food, and then you have a lot of bloating, a lot of swelling, well, that's because of the salt intake. Cut back on the salt intake. Uh, for someone who has uh, congestive heart failure, that's the first thing we tell them, a low-sodium diet. And you should really practice, you know, keep the salt down, you know, it, again, uh, diet modification, you know, read up on, uh, you know, nutrition. If you're not sure, you can always call my office or uh, go to a nutritionist and we can help and guide you. So better habits. Uh, we want to uh, reduce uh, intake of the harmful fats. Now, I just discussed the ratio for every gram of saturated, you, you want two grams of poly and two grams of uh, mono. Uh, that's, they're healthier for you. You hear about the omega-6 fatty acids. They're healthy for you. So just make better choices. Avoid harmful use of alcohol. Well, we know alcohol, you have, you know, all the damages that alcohol does. You have the addiction component and, and as well as the damage within the body. Um, you know, there is a recommended allowable, I think it's about uh, two ounces uh, a day, which is not much. That's only like, uh, I think it's uh, uh, two shot glasses. Okay, so it's not much. So you have to pay attention to your alcohol intake. Um, you don't want that uh, binging. Uh, it's not healthy for you, you know, socialize, uh, but, uh, be, you know, you should be able to socialize without alcohol. If you're socializing and the socializing is surrounded by the alcohol, uh, there's something wrong. You should be able to get together with your friends and not have to have alcohol. You should be able to enjoy each other's company and be able to talk about memories and make memories. All right. Don't smoke, okay? Smoking, we know how harmful smoking is. The key is not to smoke, never to start smoking because of the nicotine, the addiction. Again, with alcohol, same thing. It's the pleasure zone in the brain, the amygdala. That's the center in the core of the brain, and that's where all the receptors are, and that's where the happy drugs and, and all the receptors are, where it, they latch on and they want that pleasure that was uh, you know those chemical neurotransmitters to keep being released so you're going to want more and more to get that sensation so if we stay away from alcohol you know at start or definitely stop you know never start smoking but if you if you're smoking you have to cut back and it's very very difficult to get you know because of that nicotine that 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 craving and the addiction um, so you have to go through a process to wean yourself off there's all different ways to do this you go to a specialist you know, you have, you can use the patches, uh, we have the Nicorette gums, uh, you have uh, diff different uh, processes, uh, uh, psychological, where you can go in um, and uh, go into uh, psychotherapy, uh, you also have um, acupuncture to help uh, stop the craving and you can stop smoking. Uh, you want to be active, okay? Well, we always say active in the 1970s. You know, you remember the commercial, uh, pinch an inch, and that was for cereal. Well, you know, we say uh, 30 minutes three times a week. Well, that was back in the 70s because we weren't as heavy, we weren't as fat as we are today. Uh, so what we need to do is increase our exercise. Uh, you want to get, be, you, before you start any exercise program, you should be medically cleared by a physician. Well, come and see me and I will clear you. We'll get a nice baseline um, uh, history and physical and then we'll do blood work and see if you're medically cleared to start an exercise program um, you want to do aerobics at least three times a week I you know you're talking like 30 uh, 60 minutes uh, of aerobics three times a week and then the other two days you want to do uh, some weightlifting weight bearing uh, so that will help build the muscle maintain your muscle and also strengthen and thicken up your bone um, so, uh, speak with your physicians, get medically cleared and th this new year in two weeks, start a new program. 
Uh, check your blood pressure regularly, right? We have to check our blood pressure. We know how harmful uncontrolled blood pressure is. You know, you know we have heart attacks. Uh, you also have strokes, okay? You know how severe strokes are if you survive. You know, you have single-sided weakness. You get slurred speech. Uh, you know, just changes the world. You know, that's if you survive it. So we must check up blood pressure. If you keep, if you have a low sodium diet, remember sodium, like I mentioned earlier, it's a magnet to water. So if we have a lot of salt intake, especially it depends on your genetics. Some genetics are more sensitive to salt. So if you have a lot of salt intake, uh, we're going to retain fluid. And if we retain fluid, we have more resistance. If we have more resistance, our heart has to work harder. If our heart is working harder, our blood pressure starts to go up. When we develop hypertension, so let's reduce the resistance in our body. That means losing weight and cutting back on your salt. Uh, get tested, right? Come in. You want uh, history and physicals. You know, you want to get tested. Uh, we want to get tested uh, for, for uh, just your routine stuff as well as sexually transmitted diseases. As you know, if you are uh, sexually active and unprotected and you have multiple partners, important to be tested. All right. Again, watch your behavior. Reduced high-risk behavior. All right, to learn more about Dr. Tommy O, um, to learn more about my practice, go to www.drtommyo.com. That's drtommyo.com. Or give my office a call, 631-980-8200. Call my office. Let's set up a history and physical. It's the new year. It's the new you. Welcome back to the Ask Dr. Tommy O Show. I am your host, Dr. Thomas O'Brien. I offer a very affordable concierge practice which allows you access to the quality care you really deserve. With no rush office visits, both you and I can take our time and discuss your health care needs. As your primary care physician, it is important for me to have a baseline knowledge of your health. I look at you when you're speaking to me, I listen to what you're saying, and I feel you both physically and emotionally. This way, when you come to my office not feeling well, knowing your history allows me to properly diagnose and treat your illness. Come join my practice. Let me help you lead a happier and healthier life. If you wait, it may be too late. Today's topic, health tips for the new year. Health tips for the new year. So we ended off part one with get tested. That's right. I was talking about, you know, getting your full blood work, routine blood work, as well as, uh, you know, STD, sexually transmitted, uh, uh, STD screening, sexually transmitted disease uh, tests. Uh, we do this uh, via blood as well as through urine, and we can test for chlamydia, gonorrhea. Uh, we have also a, a urinary tract infection that is considered a, a bacteria that is considered a um, sexually transmitted disease. Um, hepatitis as well as HIV and syphilis, all right? So we want to screen those out. And if you're positive, we'd like to treat them. Okay, so practice uh, safe sex. Be smart about it, okay? Multiple partners. Everyone has a different lifestyle. You should uh, use uh, protection. Uh, we want to reduce uh, the risk, okay? We always talk about uh, risky behavior, so let's reduce the risk. All right, so the next would be is get vaccinated, all right? Get vaccinated. Uh, I know it's all different uh, s different sides of the aisle regarding um, uh, vaccination. You have the uh, vaxxers, the non-vaxxers, and so forth. And, and I understand both sides because I, I see, you know, what, um, you know, the perspectives from both sides because I have a family and I have twins. So we had to, as a parent, I had to make a choice. But we definitely want to get a childhood uh, vaccinations. Um, definitely, uh, you know, a, an annual flu shot for those high risk individuals, especially seniors 65 and older. So, um, we, we want to talk about coughing and covering your mouth. Uh, this is proper hygiene. All right, let's talk about proper hygiene. Especially now with all the flu and the RSV and the COVID-19, uh, this is uh, basically practicing common sense and being courteous to others. Cover your mouth so you're not coughing 
you know, especially, you know, in someone's face, that's just not cool. You don't do that. You turn to the side, you cover your mouth, and then you wash your hands immediately. And if you, if there's not a sink, you know, try to carry one of those alcohol-based uh, hand sanitizers, and you, the alcohol, alcohol content should be 60% or greater because that will kill uh, the bacteria and viruses. Uh, you know, uh, whether you wear a mask or not, does the we- mask work? Uh, to be honest with you, for the large particles when you have that cough, yes, it's going to block that. But for the micro, no. I mean, in order, let's be realistic, okay? All right, let's be honest. No, because you'd be able to get to breathe in and out, okay? Because <laughs> you would have to wear a a, a sealed mask, okay? We're talking a sealed suit where with the alcohol, with a uh, oxygen tank, or we have uh, special, um, w- within the mask, we have special filters that are going to filter it out. What the, the, the mask that we have is not going to filter that out. But you, if you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, that's fine. You can wear that mask. All right. So, all right. So, uh, you, Mosquito bites. This is your backyard, especially, uh, you know, depending on the season, uh, you want to, um, or like I live on the water, so I got the, uh, the green flies. So, you know, you can spray your yard, uh, make sure you have, uh, chemicals that are, uh, healthy and safe for pets as well as us. And you, you know, you spray your yard down and that's what I do, uh, twice, uh, over the season, over the summer, because we have a lot of events outside where we have friends and family over. So we want to make it comfortable. The next, uh, follow traffic laws. Again, we want to reduce high-risk behavior. You know, not evil can evil. Um, we want, want to run red lights. You know, you don't want to cheat it. You know, you see the light <laughs> yellow, everyone thinks, hit the gas. No, yellow's just giving you that time so you can start braking, slow down, because the red light is imminent. So start slowing down, all right? So pay attention. Always drive with your eyes open, paying attention, not on your phone. Now everything's hand-free, but still, if you're in, in a conversation, a serious conversation, are you really paying attention to the road or are you focusing on the conversation? So be smart. Pay attention to the road. Uh, when I was living in Iowa for medical school, I was riding motorcycles, and we had the no-helmet law, so I used to ride with no helmet. Yes, it's nice. You know, there's a, the risk increases. You know, there's two sides of that uh, uh, that challenge as well. Those who uh, feel that helmets are, are safe for you and those who say helmets are not. Uh, but regardless, uh, when I was riding uh, motorcycles, uh, it made me more aware of the roads. So when I was driving, I was paying more attention because now I'm I'm looking for the other drivers as well as other motorcycles. So that that aspect, that I, I benefit. But keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes on the road. Pay attention. If you're not paying attention, that's when someone else runs a red light and you get an accident. So you got to pay attention. Um, you know, you want to uh, drink more water. Um, we, you know, it's recommended uh, women 10 cups of water a day and, and men 15 cups unless you have a condition. Uh, if you have, uh, so that you must be medically cleared by your physician, but typically a healthy individual, uh, 10 cups for women, 15 cups for, for men. Uh, if you uh, have congested heart failure or any other medical condition where we have to cut back on the amount of um, water consumption, that is different. And you would speak to your physician and they would give you the recommended uh, daily allotment. Okay, now this is uh, breastfeeding. We say, as a family practitioner in OBGYN, breast is best, okay, because it comes from the mother. It's natural. So, if you, you know, if you have your child, you have an infant, breastfeed. If you can, we, we recommend breastfeeding up to two years of age. I know it hurts. It's sore. Uh, you know, that's the biggest complaint. Either the child won't latch on or if they do, it becomes painful. Uh, but this is something uh, that if you can uh, go as long as, as up to two years, we recommend up to two years. Now, if you're feeling down, Okay, this is the next one is you're feeling down. We want to be surrounded by friends and family. You need to talk to someone. Uh, we want to reduce, especially the past two to, th- since COVID, we were, we were seeing a lot of suicides, depression. We're seeing, we're r- literally, we're running out of uh, a lot of the psych medications. There is a shortage because of the uh, behavioral uh, uh, changes, the, um, the increase in depression, um, bipolar, uh, anxiety skyrocketed. 
uh, well, you know, we, when you start to feel changes, you know, psychological changes, uh, you, you really need to find support. Okay, we need support because that will help us so we can develop our coping mechanisms. A lot of times we can work through this and, and if not, seek out professional help. Okay, professional help. Uh, take an the antibiotics, okay? This is something people do all the time. I prescribe antibiotics for 10 days. After five days, they're feeling better. They stop taking antibiotics. No, follow the medical, <laughs> the physician's instructions. Take the medication start to finish because this will build resistance or we will not treat the infection completely and it will come back in about three or four weeks. You, you come back and say, well, I think I have it again. Well, did you finish the antibiotics? No, I have a few left over. Should I continue taking them? I said, well, no, you should have finished them the first time. And that's the reason why most likely it came back. So follow medical instructions. Be compliant. Follow medical instructions. We want to prepare foods properly we discussed this last show make sure you prepare you prepare your foods um, you know the heat the amount of time uh, and then how long you keep it out you want you don't want to keep your food out more than a certain amount of time because bacteria will build up on the food after you have eaten or prepared the food so preparing your food properly if you're not sure there's instructions or ask someone ask a senior for help all right so I have 30 one seconds, 30, 30 seconds, 29 seconds left in this show. Uh, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. A happy new year. A happy, healthy new year, 2023, just in a few days. All right, to learn more about Dr. Tommy O, go to drtommyoak.com. That's drtommyoak.com. Or call my office at 631-980-8200. Make an appointment. 2023 is here. Let's set up an appointment for a history and physical. The content heard on the Ask Dr. Tommy O Show is for informational or educational purposes only and does not substitute professional medical advice or consultation with healthcare professionals. The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors.